What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So we are inside season three and we have already started doing the vaults, uh, which is cool alongside the nightmare dungeon. So I just kind of wanted to go through them and just kind of show you how, how it works and uh, how awesome the rewards and stuff are for this. Cause I think some people may be confused on this. So again, in the occultist, you can actually craft these. They start at nightmare sigil tier 21, which is kind of crazy. That's an ancestral. Then you have sacred ones that start one to five, just like they would for nightmare dungeons, right? Same thing, sacred and, and ancestral, which is really cool. You can come in here and just craft these, right? We're gonna craft one, see what we get. Drifting shade, awesome lightning damage. Drifting shade sucks, but um, yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go through and do one. I'm gonna show you guys how to operate this and kind of how to go through this and what to really look for. So we're gonna pop this tier three. We're gonna do the vault of cinders because there's a few things in here that kind of dictate how good the resources are for your uh, vault sigils. Now, in order to get one of these, you can go through and do nightmare dungeons. You can also just craft them, but uh, the easiest way is to just try to complete some of the overworld content that would be on here from the seasonal theme. So again, let's go ahead and pop it, pop the thing. Now the affixes on these can be pretty harsh, but you can also get things that really help you out. like. Dealing 10% more lightning damage. There's also some where you can get more shrines, more poison damage. You just have to be really careful in here. So let's go ahead and, and go through this dungeon. I'm going to highlight some points here on Zoltan's warding once we actually get to it. So yeah, we're just going to roll through and do this dungeon. It's going to act just like a nightmare dungeon, if you will. But because it has, it's a new part of the new seasonal theme, we're going to have traps in here, okay? Now the traps overall are pretty easy to avoid, but... They are a cause of concern when it comes to our Zoltan's warding, which is really going to dictate how good our rewards are at the end of these vaults, okay? It really matters having the most Zoltan's warding that you can, and it's really easy to lose it all when you're inside these dungeons, okay? Right now we have zero, but I'm going to show you when we get to the point how to do these, okay? Now, just like Nightmare Dungeons, these vault dungeons are really, really good for resources like Angelic uh what is it angelic breaths yeah angelic breaths you can get a lot of veiled crystals in these things you can get all kinds of other resources so it is definitely without you know like you're just not wasting it like you would do the abattoir of zir you do get resources and stuff out of this including all the items at the end now when you're coming through the tunnel the initial part is going to be very short and sweet and we're going to go into the gateway which is going to take us into the rest of the actual vault that's just kind of the very first area we're going to get inside the vault and then this is where we have to find the vault treasure in order to fight the boss which will get us to the end for our sweet sweet loot now we're going to clear these enemies out and i'm going to go over zoltan's warding okay this is where again like i said it really is going to dictate how much loot and how good loot you're going to get at the end so when you come in here it's going to spawn right away you're going to exchange a pearl one pearl for three charges of the warding okay so if you don't know you're going to come over here to your seasonal content under materials you're going to have pearls of warding you're going to get these from doing the overworld content in the game okay there's a lot of overworld content in here that you can go find um it's all over the place and that is where you're going to do it and you're going to get these pearls of warding for it so how this works is we're going to exchange one pearl and it's going to give us three right then we're going to exchange one more so we have six now how this works is is that we have six zoltan's wardings every single time we get hit by a trap we lose a warding okay we lose a warding now at the end of the dungeon there's going to be when well, i'll show you when we get there there's going to be three chests there's going to be the chests from completing the dungeon and then there's going to be two chests next to it and each of them are going to have a certain number required to open which equals a certain number of zoltan wardings an example can be hey this chest costs one zoltan warding another chest could cost four five three and all of those are going to dictate how good of loot that you're going to get at the end so we're going to go through this we're going to be very very careful you're going to want to dodge every single trap you can okay so we're going to be tippy toeing you see that trap there we could have took some serious damage there we don't want to lose that okay now if you do lose some as you're going through the dungeon you can always double back come back to the statue of zoltan cool and exchange another pearl okay you can exchange them as many times as you want until you run out of pearls but you just need to be very very careful about this okay 
Now, I haven't worked on a table to dictate the level of your vault nightmare sigil equal to what the chests are going to be at the end. So that's why I exchanged two, just to kind of show you. I think the max is going to be four, but uh, we're going to see. We got to we gotta kind of zip through this. Um, I'm going to try not to get hit here, which should be pretty sweet and teleport. That's why Sork is amazing. That's why we're, we're BA, which is known as badass. Now, when you have Zoltan's Wardings, monsters can hit you just fine. You don't have to worry about monsters at all. Okay? Monsters can hit you. You're not going to lose any of it. It is all based on traps. You do not want to get hit by traps whatsoever. Now, I do believe that when you die, you do lose all your Zoltan's Wardings. I could be wrong on that. I have not died with them because I don't want to waste them. But I'm pretty sure if you do die, you lose all of your Zoltan's Wardings. Now, inherently, these dungeons are not very long. They still act like a normal Nightmare Dungeon. You can see from the map that they're just not very long at all. So, it's very, very quick. You run through these dungeons pretty fast. The traps themselves are pretty easy to avoid if you can just um, kind of learn the patterns. They're very easy. And just like in here, you're going to get a Vault of Cinders. The like other vault or sigils, excuse me, the other sigils for these dungeons drop in here just like they would for Nightmare Dungeons. And again, now we got increased critical strike, storm banes, monster fire. It is all good. As you can see, like the traps themselves are like, they're not too bad to avoid, right? Like they're not. Oh, we lost one. See how we got hit and lost one? That's a bummer. So now we're at five out of six. So we're at the end now, guys. We're gonna go in and do this, this boss fight. And again, there's a lot of traps in here. So again, you want to try to not be hit. This will also take points away from your warding. So in this, this fight exactly, I'm just standing in the side and just trying to drop all my stuff. All you have to do is survive the crucible. So you want to try to get to a spot where you know you can avoid the traps in these dungeons, especially at the end, and not worry about losing any of your Zoltan's wardings. You definitely don't want to lose those because then you don't get any bonus loot. So that's kind of the trick to these, which is uh, kind of cool, but it can also suck. But as long as you survive, the traps will end. So they will stop going off and then you're all done. Oh, no, they still go. Oh, we got to kill. We got We got 12 revives. Oh boy. Oh, we got to kill the boss. That's what it is. We got to kill the boss. There we go. The boss is dead. The barrier is dispelled. And now we shouldn't have to worry about too much. The trap should end. Yep, so as long as you kill all the monsters and destroy the boss, all the traps end so you can move freely. Now what happens is you come into the coffin room. You're going to have your one basic treasure chest. And then you're going to see how this says requires four charges of Zoltan's warding to open. And then we also have just one. So it's a minor and a major or a ward wo woven chest. So I, I'm, I just missed it, right? I missed it so I can open this one and it gives you additional loot, but I can't open the other one because I just don't have enough. Now I'm curious to be, if you wanted to run back here, exchange this after killing all the monsters. You'd have to come back through here again and just dodge the traps and then you could probably open this one that's a lot of backtracking so what i would suggest is that when you're going through just farm up enough of the pearl of wardings because you can see we're back to six after spending two going down to four so you can just try to like overestimate now it looks like that based on the tier from one to five that you're gonna have a chest with one and you're gonna have a chest with four charges so if you feel like you struggle getting through the traps and you're getting hit a lot, then maybe spending three or four of your Pearl of Wardings because you're going to get two back is a good way to spend this. So that way you can open up the Ward Woven chest, which is the really good loot. Um, we just got confirmation that you can't go back. Actually, guys, correction, you can't go back and try to do this. So you need to, when you first come in here, is spend the amount of pearls that you need to do for this, okay? But yeah, guys, that's Vaults in a nutshell. It is super fun. It is definitely like a nail biter when you're going through the traps. So definitely get out there, farm the Pearl of Wardings, okay? 
You're gonna be able to farm these from just doing the normal sigils here. And again, you can also farm them from going into the world map and completing the overworld territories. You can definitely get those from killing. It's the Heralds of Zoltan Cool. So you kill the Heralds of Zoltan Cool and you're gonna be able to get the Pearls of Warden, guys. So yeah, that's the new brand new vaults and how the mechanic works. The brand new vaults, this is any of them. This is how this works. So it's really, really cool. Um, definitely like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the brand new vaults. It definitely is a different experience as opposed to Nightmare Dungeons. Comment, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.